All right, today we're hitting triceps, tearing up that lateral head, getting you that horseshoe. Now, for anybody that says that you can't put more stress on one head compared to another, it's got to be frustrating to wake up 15 minutes early, get your lunchbox all packed, walk all the way to school, only to realize that that sandwich you got in there is made of bullshit. You can't isolate it completely, but you can absolutely put more stress on that lateral head. Let me show you how. Let's get after it. Place is a complete mess, but this thing's going to be gorgeous. Look at that. All right, so we're starting off with the cables because it's the most versatile way to hit that lateral head. And I'm gonna go over three of my favorite variations. So no matter how screwed up your shoulders are, or how bad you are at following directions, you're definitely gonna connect with one of these. But the premise is pretty much the same. We're looking at ways to rotate that wrist, pronate that palm down, and make that lateral head dominate the movement. So we're starting off with partials at the bottom of the movement, really focusing on that rotation and keeping this light. So we don't want those traps to jump in, 20, 30 reps. But this isn't a limited exercise. You can use it as a primer, you can use it as a finisher, Either way, it's gonna ruin your life. The next two movements are unilateral because we all have a dominant side we connect to more, and this is due to the fact that no matter how much your mom swears she didn't drink when she was pregnant with you, she's full of shit. You wanna know how you can tell? How'd you tie your shoes this morning? To make bunny ears? It's a dead giveaway. The first one, you're gonna start out by making a poor man's preacher curl. Just making a fist, locking underneath that tricep, and this is gonna allow you to flex that tricep the way I think you're supposed to, which is not away, but actively pull towards your body. And more importantly, you're gonna be fighting that rotation already, so it's a lot easier to rotate that wrist and then rotate that shoulder and drive all that force into that outer head. Now, if you had trouble connecting with the last two, that's all right. I mean, you're a little screwed up, but we'll get through this. All we have to do is put that shoulder in the position we want it to end up in, and then all we have to do from there is flex straight down. So standing perpendicular to the machine, flare that elbow out, and then from there, it's just a straight flex down. If you want a little bit more emphasis, just pronate that hand a little bit more at the top. Another movement I love to really build up those horseshoe triceps is skull crushers. Now, it's a little counterintuitive. You'd think any movement that stretches that tricep is gonna put more emphasis on that long head based on how it originates, and especially because we're gonna do these at an extreme angle, but because we're pronating those palms down, rotating those shoulders, we're gonna drive all that force in the lateral head. On top of that, we're gonna do a static hold, and we're gonna make that lateral head work at the peak of the contraction. So if you've ever seen somebody grab the easy bar cable attachment, flare those elbows out and they just do press downs, they're trying to hit that outer head. Problem I always have with that though is you can use the entire stack, you're fighting gravity, you're just contracting your abs, it just feels like an awful movement. Especially when you can set up a floor press the same way and get even more out of it. So grab close grip, flare those elbows out, and go down as low as you comfortably can and then wrap it out. Here's the link to the triceps video on the long head, also another one of my favorite tricep videos. Make sure, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always, get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.